Today the video will be about weather and how we avoid weather. Now every pilot's different. They're going to avoid weather, use radar different, have different rules of thumb. Because radar is kind of like an art. It all works a little different. Everyone uses it a little different. So just follow along. This is how I did weather. And you also get some pictures of that nice windstorm that went through the Kansas and Midwest. So hope you enjoy the video. That is not what you call a good radar when you're painting red at 100 to 120 miles. So we'll come over here. some of these radars have gotten if you see that shading right there and right there that is telling me that the radar is the weather is so thick that it's not getting a good enough signal to know what's behind it so that's what that shading is there so that's a pretty good storm if you're picking up red at 100 miles it's a very good line of storms we're flying with you 40 right now good sign how the, the line is getting thinner it's not that the line's getting weaker but I haven't touched the, uh, the tilt so as I climb I'm getting higher and then what I'm starting to do is the radar beam starting to top the weather so that means it looks like I'll be above it but that's one thing I've done and we got a bunch of other things we can do on this screen I'll show it to you you can see we're going through 41 now 41 and a half so it looks like we're being top and we can do all sorts of things we can do a scan we can do a vertical scan and to show what's above and below you. But I will say it looks it looks a lot like we're gonna be above it now, so I'm gonna go back to my horizontal scan. And then you know we just we'll get above it at 43, hopefully we'll be able to go to 45. And there might be a couple tops here and there. We'll have to go around, but overall we'll be above the majority of the line and we'll only have to do a few tops instead of having to go down to Oklahoma to go around it. You know, if we were if we were couldn't go higher than 36,000 feet, we'd be flying to Oklahoma, then over to the west instead of going over the top. So with the tilt again, I haven't messed again. I haven't messed with the tilt. It's starting to crumble a little bit. Now the line is still just as thick as it was when you saw it last time, but I'm starting to get above it, I, so I didn't mess with the, the tilt on that. And if I come up here, you can kind of see is a low spot we're going to go through. It's kind of short on the radar. The spot on the right, it might be as high as this. I would not like to give you to the right. The spot on the left, I believe, will be above. I still don't want to fly over it. Now, if you come down here and I pull up this, you can still see that line is as strong as it ever was where we are on the screen. So, again, we're going through 45,000. I'm going up to 45,000. Here's what that line looks like from above. Feet. I would estimate the tops are, I'm going to guess they're between 40 and 41, but you know, I find tops very hard to judge. Well, if you look way down there, you can actually see the dust on the ground blowing. Yeah, this is that day in the Midwest when all that wind was supposed to hit, which that would be central, north central Kansas, so there is dust blowing down there. I'm sorry, it's a little bouncy. We're at 45,000, and there's basically chop all everywhere. So normally it's nice and smooth up here, but it is not today. There's more dust and stuff blowing. That would probably be just south of Hill City, Kansas. I, I assume it's dust. I don't think it's fires, but it could be. And you can just see it starts one spot, and then it just it plumes out behind it. So. And then looking back, there would be that line of weather we crossed. And I'm sorry, this is a terrible camera. It's actually a pretty crappy right here at 450. But we were talking to center, and it sounds like it's not good anywhere. And we're kind of in the middle of that low pressure at the moment, so I'm hopefully flat a bit. But I have a feeling we'll smooth down uh, when we get to the runway at the next destination. Here we are in Scottsdale, Arizona, and I'm going to tell you I'm a little frazzled because that flight sucked. You know, we got over the weather all nice, thought we were doing great, and I'm telling you, we got behind that low at 45, it was rough. I mean, it was rough for like an hour. So, actually, when we got up the mountains, it was pretty good, but I, 
It was one of those days you'd rather be driving the interstate, I think, than parts of that flight. But I hope you enjoyed some of the little things I did with weather. Everyone has a different idea and how they do it and how they use radar. But that's that's what the flight was. So I hope you enjoyed it. This is a quick video just north of uh, A Center the day after that big front came through. They still got a lot of fires going. It looks like you can see some of the burn area. You can see some of the fires still going. Like I said, this is just north of A Center. Maybe just uh, southeast of uh, Hill City area. I'm not real familiar with that part of Kansas, but uh, you can just you can see what's burnt and what's still burning. <laughs>